At the Eck Institute for Global Health, our mission is all about uh, the concept of human health as a basic fundamental human right. We strive to work on relevant topics where we're looking to enhance opportunities for health care and a better health environment for people, particularly those that live in low and middle income countries. I think the value of working with the Eck Institute is the ability to interact with people who do vastly different types of research with a common goal, which is global health. And I think at a place like Notre Dame, it's even more important because it, it thinks about um, poverty and disease and religion and all these things and how they interplay together. We've historically had strong research programs at the University of Notre Dame in the areas of tropical disease research. We are starting to build these key connections across labs and across groups. One of the things it does is promoting interaction between people who work on very disparate things. I think it allows your research to go places that you didn't expect. My main driving force for global health research is understanding how viruses replicate in the human cell. Essentially what we like to understand is how viral hemorrhagic fevers, most notably things like Ebola virus and Marburg virus, we're studying how they replicate in human cells. The big problem with these infections is there's currently no FDA approved drugs or vaccines. And when they do have outbreaks, especially in Africa, what happens is usually get fatality close to 80 or 90 percent. Emmanuel has been a driving force in the work. He's a fifth year PhD student. What Emmanuel's been doing is that looking at how what's called the plasma membrane of human cells regulates the viral replication. Essentially what we're trying to do is to be able to understand the life cycle of the virus and then identify which part of this life cycle that we can inhibit with uh, therapeutic interventions. We're interested in figuring out how the bacteria that cause tuberculosis promote infection. And we're interested in doing this at the molecular level, so we want to understand how these bacteria take their own proteins and then manipulate the host environment by exporting them into the host cell. There's not been a novel vaccine or drug for tuberculosis in the past 50 years. Our research is vital to understand exactly how we can combat this disease and find new drugs and therapeutics to end this worldwide epidemic. I want to understand the fundamental, basic, biological changes that make drug-resistant parasites. The ultimate goal is to provide information to other scientists who design drugs and vaccines for malaria so that they can target the parasite's own biology in their new designs. Drug resistance is a really big problem right now with malaria and there's only one drug that can cure multi-drug resistance right now. And that means we have to understand the genes at the most basic level and how they interact. When you're a fellow, then what it is is you, you, are, you are an integral part of the, of the institute. And you get, of course, you get some funding from the institute, which is great. But uh, for most part, you, 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 you present your work with other fellows from the institute and you get the opportunity to interact with um, faculty both here at Notre Dame and faculty, um, external faculty as well. Emmanuel is part of the Global Health Colloquium. Uh, this gets him exposure to other researchers on campus involved in global health. Uh, so he's immersed in an environment of learners and those with common interest in solving things like bacterial infections, viral infections, maybe um, parasites, and looking at commonalities uh, among these things that are pretty nasty and affecting the world population. Students here at the University of Notre Dame, undergraduates and PhD students, are really the beating heart of these research labs. Working in this lab with Dr. Fertig is a really great experience. He provides a lot of mentorship and we discuss different types of designs for my experiments as well as the big picture ideas behind what we're doing so that I can feel really excited about the work and see its larger impacts. Our lab developed a novel technique for looking for protein secretion off of whole colonies, so we're a bit ahead of the field on finding new genes. What Emily's done is she's actually identified at least two genes that promote secretion directly. We hope that by understanding how these proteins promote protein secretion, that we could identify either novel therapeutic candidates or we could identify how to make the vaccine for TB better.
the Eck Institute of Global Health is really important for students because what it's able to do is help train students essentially to be the future workforce of global health researchers and perhaps policy makers. I was really interested in uh, disparities across populations, um, both here and abroad. And so Notre Dame's focus on alleviating health care burdens for the underprivileged was something that really drew me to the Eck Institute and the Master of Science in Global Health. I came here to develop my research background and I also was drawn to the long field work experience component. Six to eight weeks is quite a long time to spend in the field and I was very attracted to that opportunity. It's a very unique blend of science training as well as international and global focused health training and so um, having this year here at Notre Dame has been really formative. The project work that I did in Haiti actually gave birth to an idea of what I wanted to do with my future research as a doctoral student and in my career. I knew I wanted to do epidemiology, but I had yet to identify a particular niche that I wanted to fill. I came here with very little research experience, and in just one year I've learned to competently begin and carry through a project um, from data collection all the way to um, construction of a final paper for publication. We as individuals are really looking to make a difference in the world and, and make people's lives better in terms of providing better health opportunities. I wanted to be able to do research that would ultimately have a big impact on the developing world and the diseases that they face that continue to limit their possibilities. What really wakes me up in the morning is the idea that people are getting sick without any help. What the Eck Institute is able to do is match us with researchers or institutions overseas that are studying these viruses. I believe in the future it will be much easier to go to hotspots of emerging disease and say, here's our tool, we have the technology, we know exactly what to do, we need access to clinics, we need access to patients, we need access to mechanisms of, of taking these ideas into application and ultimately cure.